My name is Michelle. I am the general manager at a nonprofit and I rate Sawyer a five. We were using Pike 13. Um, there was a couple reasons it didn't work out. One, it was really geared more towards uh, like gyms, which were more for adults. And most of our students are uh, kids and families. So it, it wouldn't let people sign up for more than one uh, kid at a time. We could offer some sorts of uh, coupons and discounts, but not really to the level we needed to. Things like automatic discounts, you know, people would have to call me to get a coupon code, which we're a very small organization. so. That took just that was just a big administrative burden. Um, we were able to do we weren't able to do things like payment plans. So again, we had to keep a lot of that manually, which just again we're a small organization and we wanted to be able to do that, um, and we couldn't do that. Um, there were just a lot of pieces that didn't fit for the people that we were trying to serve. Um, so that were, those were some of the main reasons. There were some other other ones, but those were the big ones. One, we it was geared more towards kids. And they were a relatively new software, so we knew we could grow with them and be able to give some input into things that we needed. Um, and the things that it offered at the time that we signed up were that we could do payment plans, and we were immediately able to um, get families that we weren't able to before. Sometimes families just didn't want to ask for that, and here they were able to just do that immediately. Um, and it took away the administrative burden of us having to keep track of that and call people and ask for their payment and that sort of thing. Uh, families were able to sign up more than one student at a time, which sounds like something maybe kind of silly, but um, that was just difficult for people they, you know, to navigate through a system and have to sign one up and another one up. It made um, giving discounts for that much easier because we were able to just put in an auto discount, which we offered. If you sign up more than one student, you got a discount and that was just automatically there. People didn't have to call and ask, what is that coupon code again? Or have you changed it or anything like that? Um, we were able to do things just like to have photos for the um, classes, which added a little bit of uh, oomph to the thing, but showed a little bit of what was going on in the class. It gave us uh, more of a platform. So especially when COVID-19 hit, we were able to put our virtual classes up on a national platform and people could find us there, which was really nice. Uh, they pivoted really fast, which was great. Um, so those are some of the big ones. Another thing is that the customer service is great. Customer service was a little bit more difficult um, with our last thing. And this time, you know, you email, you can call if you really need to, but you email and they get back to you really fast. Um, the other huge one, this is a huge one um, for me, I do <laughs> a lot of things at our organization, um, but a big one is the financials. Getting the uh, specifics of how we were paid was like terrible at our last uh, provider. And this, it's all there in a tab on Sawyer. Um, and I can just see it, you know, as it happens, which is a, a big deal. As a nonprofit, we have different funding streams. We have to keep you know, very detailed finances. So that's a big deal for me. Getting started with Sawyer was very easy. Uh, when I was looking at new class registration software providers, I actually took about six months. <laughs> it might not have been easy for them. Um, and I, I did two demos with a couple of different places. Um, and I had you know someone else do the demo with Sawyer too, once I was pretty sure that this is what I wanted. So they actually did three demos with us. Um, and then, so once we uh, signed on, you know, they were very helpful up front, making sure that we got everything set up. Um, they were very available in that first month. And then they're still very available as well as we change things. Um, they got all of our classes up in the beginning, loaded that widget onto our webpage. So we had everything ready. Um, we did it, I think, right around a class start, obviously, so that we could just start right away. Um, and then they were with us every step of the way. Their help articles are really helpful. Um, they do ongoing, you know, webinars and trainings. They have a Facebook page for providers. If you want to go on there and just add, ask questions to other people using the software. So it's, it's really user friendly and you have a network of providers there to back you up. If you just want to bounce ideas or get a question answered really quick. Um, so it's, I thought really incredibly easy. For anyone that's considering Sawyer, I would say book a demo and see if it fits what you need. You know, make a list of what it is that you need, you know, what it is you like or don't like about your current software. 
um, know that they are still relatively new. So things, there are some stuff it has and some stuff it doesn't have, but they are really open to hearing suggestions and they make product updates all the time. Um, just the last couple of weeks, I did a call with them about one of the newer things and you know what I liked about it, what I didn't like about it, and they're open to hearing suggestions. So know that it's like anything, it's not perfect, but they are really uh, open to hearing that. So um, book the demo and know what it is. Um, but I would recommend using them. It's been really helpful for us. Um, and I know some other places around me that it's been really helpful for as well. Um, so I would say give it a try.